Hey guys, welcome back to my real life car builds in GTA 5. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at one of the most insane road cars available, which is the Mercedes G63 AMG 6x6. And as usual, why look at the factory standard version of this when there's a crazy insane Brabus tuned version? So in this video, we're going to be recreating the Brabus G63 700 AMG 6x6. So the G63 6x6 is a six wheel drive monster and that's where the 6x6 in its name comes from. It's got a twin turbo V8 engine from the AMG division of Mercedes and it's got a top speed of 160 kilometers an hour, which I think is limited, and it will get there in just over seven seconds, which doesn't sound like that fast, but considering how huge and heavy this vehicle is, that's actually quite insane. Now the Brabus tuned version of this car has 700 horsepower, which is actually 156 horsepower more than the standard version, and if you want to purchase one of these, it will set you back a cool half million dollars. So in game, the vehicle that most closely represents the G63 6x6 is obviously the Benefactor Dubster 6x6, and this vehicle is almost a direct clone of the real 6x6. Seeing as this is a DLC car, you can pick it up in any of the main characters' garages in story mode, and once you've obtained your Dubster 6x6, we're going to roll it into Los Santos Customs. The Dubster 6x6 has got a huge amount of customization options, and there's some pretty crazy combinations that you can make, but for this build, we're going to keep it pretty low key. Now the real life vehicle I believe comes in black, red and white, but we're going to go for the black stealth bomber look. So in the primary color we're going to choose black under metallic, and for the secondary color I've actually gone for the carbon black which is also listed under metallic. For the window tint we're going to go pure black just so the whole body has that black appearance. For the wheel type there's a pretty close match listed under off-road which is the mil spec steely, and of course the wheel color we're going to go for is black. The wheel accessories do look pretty cool on the off-road rims, but we're going to leave this none because there's none on the real life vehicle. For the roof, there's a good option for the matte black rack with spotlights. This is not exactly the same as the real life vehicle, but you will notice on the real 6x6 that it's got some lights up the top, and this is going to match that quite well. Again, for the hood, there's a couple of different options, but we're just going to leave this stock. For the grille, I was torn between two options. You could leave it stock, which leaves the badge on the front, which kind of matches the B from the Brabus tuned version but I've gone with the mesh grille because I think this is also pretty close. Under bumpers there's a whole bunch of different tow hooks and floodlights that you can attach, but I've just left it stock for both the front and rear. I've actually lowered the suspension on this as low as it will go. You could argue that you probably shouldn't do this, but it improves the handling and it doesn't lower it that much. And as usual with all the other performance upgrades, we're going to max those out. Even with all the performance upgrades on, this car isn't terribly fast, but it really shines when you take it off-road, and it's an absolute monster in traffic. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this build. As usual, I've stuck all my customization options in the description field, so you can go ahead and build your own Brabus tuned version of the 6x6. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll catch you later. 